Hello and welcome back to my channel where I only talk about Kamen Rider and only Kamen Rider, nothing else. My name's Allsace and today we're going to be talking about Kamen Rider ZO. I already planned on looking at this film after the Shin video, but I wanted to highlight these comments from Jason S and Kiva, both of whom kind of asked for this in one way or another. Like I said, I already planned on making this video, but it doesn't mean that I still don't really appreciate the recommendations. Anyways, Kamen Rider ZO was originally conceived as a follow-up to Shin Kamen Rider. And much like Shin, ZO was labeled as the 20th anniversary special, even though it came out two years after the 20th anniversary. I know I said this as like a joke in the Shin video, but like, this is just ridiculous. How do you make two anniversary movies and release them both in two consecutive years that are not the 20th anniversary? Anyways, I have to say that while I believe Shin is the more well-made movie, I actually think I like Zeto a little more. A major reason as to why that has to be the case is because of the fact that you don't have to wait like half of the film to see the main rider transform. Although Shin does get an excuse for this because that does kind of make his inevitable transformation far more climactic and interesting, ZO is just filled with a bunch of classic Kamen Rider action to its fullest extent. It's just that there's a lot less substance to ZO, and I think that has to do with the fact that it was originally planned to have a standalone 90 minute theatrical release, kind of like Shin, but it ended up being shown alongside the Die Ranger and the Jansperon films, which forced it to be cut down to about half of that length. But now, don't get me wrong, the film is incredibly well made in terms of like the camera work and shot composition. I mean like the final fight scene of the film, there's a shot that lasts a solid two minutes with like no cuts and it's just so good. Some of you may have known that Kamen Rider ZO was actually released in America, but like not in a good way. It was released as an interactive film game for the Sega CD and it has one of the most atrocious names on the planet. Mast Rider Common Rider ZO. That just looks plain ugly. Not to mention the font, it's just so disgusting. This game is basically just a dub of the film with like a bunch of quick time events. Needless to say, it's not fun at all. Not saying that I played it, I don't have to, it just looks bad. The game is like 40 bucks on eBay though, and I don't know why, but that makes me want it more. Like I don't even have a Sega CD, what the fuck? The film opens up with a standard Toei logo opening thing, along with this big ass Bandai logo. I don't know why, but I guess they're like really proud of this one. I've never seen a Bandai logo slapped on a movie like that. The film opens with the main protagonist waking up butt ass naked in the middle of a forest, and he's like weirdly cool about it. And then we get the film's title card, and I just have to say this one looks significantly cooler than the one we got in Shin to be honest. It then cuts to the film's main antagonist doing some shit in a junkyard. He's just chilling there, I don't really know why, but while I was watching this I was like hold up, what the fuck, I've seen this before. And then I realized that they used this scene in the first episode of Saban's Mast Rider. So that's kind of cool, not really. It then cuts to our main hero Masaru Asawa on his bike. They never say his name ever, but he's like so fucking cool. I think it's because he's dressed like the Fonz. He's like the Fonz, but like with rolled up sleeves, which makes him cooler than the Fonz almost. Which I honestly never thought was possible. And like, do not get me started on those fingerless gloves. Fuck. He pulls up on this mansion where this old ass man is just illing in the front yard. And then we see a little boy getting stalked down by the main antagonist. Zeto runs over because he's able to hear the boy's cries and starts beating the shit out of the main bad guy. The android thing pulls up this expositional clip showing that both him and Zeto were created by the professor and that the boy is also the professor's son. 
This should give you context as to what the entire rest of the movie is about. After this, the little boy runs to his grandpa and his older sister about what happened, and they don't believe a single thing he said, until a bat monster and a spider monster pull up on him. And this is actually a neat little reference, as I'm sure most of you guys know, because the first two monsters that were ever featured in Kamen Rider ever were based on a spider and a bat, and so they, they do this shit all the time, you know. And these fight scenes are actually pretty cool, mostly because of the fact that they use this stop motion effect during the fight with the spider in particular. And after this, Zeto explains how he was the professor's lab assistant and how he was genetically modified by him to have grasshopper DNA. The little boy runs over to this bridge so that he can dramatically throw a pocket watch that his father gave him off of it. But then the fawn shows up and is like, come on, man. So then he doesn't. There's this segment in the film where they present a bunch of shots of nature and like close-ups on animals and stuff while a song is playing in the background. And it's in this moment that Kamen Rider Zeto presents its sort of true intentions. The film is about the feelings of empathy and compassion and how you and I are connected simply by the fact that we are just human. The nature close-ups instill this thought that we need to work together in order to protect those who lack the ability to protect themselves. Much like how Zeto has made it his mission to protect this kid from a monster that lacks empathy and compassion. As the monster even recognizes the professor as his father and the kid as his brother, yet he deems them useless because they're just not as strong as he is. And the main reason as to why he claims that this is the case is because they're too emotional. They care too much for those who are weak. <laughs> The bat monster comes up and tricks the little boy into thinking that his father is back, and this allows the bat monster to kidnap him, while the main monster throws Zed-O out a window, causing him to pass out on a Honda Civic. After waking up, Zed-O is able to talk to a grasshopper, don't ask me why, there's a reason for it, I just don't want to keep bringing up Shin, and there's this sick transformation sequence while Zo rides his bike to go save them. He runs into the smoky room where he finds the little boy, and he's attacked by the bat monster, but he literally punches his fist through his guts and runs off with the little kid. Before they leave though, they find the boy's dad strapped into this life-sucking chair or whatever. After this, the monster reveals his true form. He even starts talking shit to Ryder, in fact, and his voice consists of this terrifying amalgamation of different children speaking at the same time. <laughs> It makes me so uneasy to listen to it. This leads into the two duking it out in one of my favorite fight scenes in Kamen Rider history, to be honest with you. Everything is just so perfect. The pyrotechnics, the camera movement, the choreography, it's just all perfect. I cannot express how good this is. Zeto gets absorbed by the monster at one point, causing the monster to increase in power. He starts moving towards the boy and his dad, but he's unable to kill them due to the pocket watch falling out of the boy's pocket. This triggers a memory for the monster and is what ultimately leads to his death. That slight emotional response is what kills him. The monster doesn't lack all compassion. It has just enough for Ryder to ultimately break free and destroy him with a signature Ryder kick. The boy is reunited with his father, but sadly, his father passes away shortly after, and the building begins to burn down along with the pocket watch from earlier inside. Meaning that the boy has to leave his past in order to grow and become stronger. He still has the emotional connection to it, but the film implies that it will not stop him from moving forward. With that, the day is saved and Zeto rides off into the sunset. This film was phenomenal. It may not have the emotional depth of Shin, but still it brings enough concepts to the table for it to be worth analyzing in its own right. It's incredibly well made, bringing in some of the greatest action scenes in Rider history. The film is short, but it uses its time incredibly well. I would have enjoyed a little bit more focus on the ensemble cast, as they are all incredibly interesting characters, mostly the boy's older sister and grandfather. I wouldn't go as far as to call them wasted characters, but I really like the small amount of time that they're on screen, making me really want to spend more time with them. Overall, this is definitely going to become a film that I'm going to want to come back to. So that's like two for two. 
two years in a row where Toei has not missed. With that in mind, it makes me really excited to watch Kamen Rider J and see what comes out of that. Welcome to the part of the video where 60% of you guys are gonna drop off. Um, yeah, dog, if the, Shin, if the Shin Kamen Rider video taught me anything, it's that y'all motherfuckers think I'm ugly. Like, y'all hate my face. Like, like, the minute I showed my face in that video, literally, you could see it in, like, the, in like the little analytics thing. It literally is like, yeah, yeah, like, like only 30% of your audience continued to watch. Like, like that. <laughs> like, dog. That, that was messed up. Y'all think I'm ugly. I ain't mad at you, but but damn, <laughs> don't make it so obvious next time. Shit. Um, have you been? Um, it's been a minute since we did this whole little one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, since I filmed like an unscripted sort of thing for the channel. Last thing, last time you kind of seen me like this was uh was during the Shin video, literally during the Shin video. Um, and hopefully y'all respond to this one better than you did with the Shin video. <laughs> uh. Uh, but what's up? How you been? I hope you're good. I'm doing good. Um, I filmed a whole little segment for this, like like little end segment for this video back in January. Um, and uh, I, I realized I'm uploading it now. And that's all that information I gave then was, was all outdated. It's all outdated now. Um, that's because I, I literally, with this video, I kept pushing it back um, because uh, I think I mentioned this in the in the Shin video. Um, I spent I spent all of January, like the, all the beginning months, the beginning like two three weeks of January, um, bulk editing, scripting, recording videos, all of January doing all of that. And the first video that I finished actually was like around Christmas time, and it was this video actually. Um, but then I kind of fell in love with. The, the build best match video and I wanted that to sort of be like my my return you know um and so I kind of I did I did that then and then and then I kind of you know I kept pushing this video back because um I also wanted to obviously upload a video about like the reuse the, the the Dino Fury video the, the Dino Fury episode one video and the, the Zen Kaiser video and, and those were kind of videos that, that needed to upload by a certain date because they were kind of ti timely videos, you know what I mean? So I kept pushing this video back and the more I pushed this video back, the more I realized, damn, this is all outdated info. Um, I'm gonna upload this and say that I haven't uploaded in two months and I'm gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm gonna I'm I'm re-record it now. Um, actually, I'm, I'm like testing out equipment for like a film project. I got like a camera like a bitching camera um, and like a lapel mic on and I'm trying to uh, this is kind of like a test run for that so I'm kind of seeing how how these 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 work um, I don't think I'm white balanced cr properly at all nope but um, what you will notice is I can I'll, I can move anywhere and you can still hear me just fine because the mic ain't stagnant baby I'm uh, it's on my chest it's on my chest the mic's on my chest. This is dope. <laughs> this is like, I, I've never had this much power. I can't, I've never been able to like move like this. This feels good. You know what I mean? I should have set up like my DSLR over here. And that way I could have like a mic I could like turn to. You know, I could, I could go back to this. And we, we, we really could have done something with this, huh? We really could have done something with this, huh? <laughs> um, but, but no, these, um, I feel like these, these like common Rider videos are like good videos to sort of give you like a, like a low key kind of update on because the whole first part of the video I feel like I come off as really like pretentious and like corny as hell by talking about like the the meaning of like common Rider movies and it's it's really stupid uh, and then you know I feel like I feel like having this sort of ending segment where like we're you know we're just illing and chilling and like just talking I feel like that that that's a good balance for these because I, I don't want them to come off too weird but I also don't want to film and uh, like upload just an update video because I feel like that's like a waste of a slot on the channel when it comes to like videos. I feel like, especially for my channel, it, it like v 
the aesthetic of like having all the videos like like i feel like a like a like an update video looks ugly i don't know why like when i upload it and i look at my channel I'm like that looks ugly that sticks out like a sore thumb and it looks dumb you have all this fun all over here and then you have like a dumbass like video like 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 like, like thumbnail of just me like and it's like what what are, what are you doing dog what, who are you doing that for no one cares stop you're weird um but no dude um so so yeah let's let, let's get to an update let, what is there to update you on um i'm taking may off uh that's because um once you see this video um that's it like like i'm out of videos <laughs> I, I bulk recorded i bulk edited i bulk scripted everything um in january and now I'm, I'm out of them. I'm out of videos. All the videos that I, I uploaded were in my backlog, and now they're all they're all out. They're all done. They're all <laughs> you've seen them all. So um, I'm gonna I want to spend the entire month of May bulk bulking stuff again because I feel like that's a really good sort of sort of relationship for me with the channel. Um, I feel like there's a few good things actually that comes from bulk content is that it kind of puts me in like a like a snowball effect sort of mindset where I'm like, I'm constantly like in this sort of mood to like, like, like it builds momentum, I guess. So like I'm in the mindset to write, I'm in the mindset to edit, I'm in the mindset to, to film. And it sort of snowballs into like better and better stuff as you go, I've noticed. And then I also have noticed that like, it's, it's good for me, you know, like during the semester, like this past semester has been so good for my relationship with like YouTube and stuff because I haven't thought about it at all. Haven't thought about it at all, but yeah, I also am still happy because videos are still coming out and, 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 and videos are still being put out and I still feel like I'm, I'm, I'm being, you know, I still feel like I'm, I'm doing the thing that I wanted to do, but, but like I ain't got to think about it. It's out, it's, it's out of my head, you know, but I, and I can focus on my studies, I can focus on my social life, I can focus on you know all the stuff I want to focus on during the semester, but like when you when you take that sort of month, you know, and you say, okay, I'm a, you know, I don't have to worry about school. School's out. You know, I am I'm, I'm a I'm a socially distance myself from my friends a little bit, and I'm a I'm a just focus on this, and you have more time to focus on your studies, your friends later. It's so so much better for me. It's so much better for my mental health. A million times better for me mentally. Um, and yeah, dog. Yeah, I, I think I think I think bulk recording and having like a like a backlog of stuff is really good. So I'm gonna spend all of May filming the summer content, um, and then I'm gonna spend all of the rest of the summer filming all the stuff that's gonna go up in the fall. And I think I think that's that's gonna be dope. I, I have a list. If I if I think, um, hopefully you can't see this list that well, but I got I got a plan. Um, I have a plan, I do, and I, and I think it's I think it's a good plan uh, of stuff I want to do, and that includes um, some videos like like some other like it, it's a mixture of like you know like shit you know you know like like there's gonna be a not the Power Rangers again soon I hope maybe I don't know um, but like a mixture of like weird stuff weird stuff that I don't even want to tell you what it is cause I, I want it to be weird um, and then you know some some other some stuff that is Toku one or two things that ain't really toku and then like you know some timely stuff like you know like the sixth sentai when two kaiser shows up in the show or like when the gold ranger comes in power rangers and like 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 i got all i got i got it all time slotted out um so so i i'm i'm ready like i'm like i'm like i'm good i feel good i feel really good um i don't know if you can tell but like my my energy my my um my mental health has been so much better since the common rider video so much better since the shin common rider video like like in that video dog like i'm not i'm not a depressed person i i, I don't really I, I wouldn't say i suffer from like depression um but like you know like i feel like we all sort of been feeling like you know like quarantine depression and like you know seasonal depression and shit like that and like um you know those two kind of things just sort of sort of really had me for a little bit there they really had me for a little bit there and i was not feeling my best i really was not um just, just to give you an idea like where my mental state was then <laughs> uh i i um i chipped my tooth like half of my tooth literally like fell out um not like fell out but like it like fell off because i had like a shitty like 
I had a fucked up cavity. I didn't I didn't keep good job. Put good. Ugh. I didn't keep good care of my teeth. I don't know why that's a tongue twister for me. Yeah. Piece of my tooth fell out, and I was I was literally just gonna leave it like that. Like my brain, like I, I saw it, I had it in my hands, I looked at it, I was like, damn, I'ma just leave it like this. I'ma just I like, like like I was literally like, okay, I only have half a tooth now. That's my life. Like as if that that's like a good like like that like that's like 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 that really just shows you where my self worth was at at the time. Like damn. Um, so I kind of, you know, now, 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 bro, I'm, I'm working on so many good things. Not only is the channel popping off, I got a new tooth. Ah, I, I would come up to the camera and show you, but I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to get weird about it. I got a new tooth. The channel's doing well. You know, um, I've been able to focus on my studies. Dude, things are good. Things are good. Like, 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 like it's been brighter outside. Like, dude, things are so much better for me right now. Like things are actually really good they're not the best they ever been best they ever been was like summer 16 i don't know uh but but like like stuff's good stuff feels good i'm really happy now um yeah yeah I, i'd say I'm, I'm really happy now like like i like i'm i'm i ain't the happiest i've ever been i, I don't want to like fool you but it's like i feel good you know like 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 i feel really good about everything everything feels good the only thing i'm kind of i'm kind of goofy about is like i feel fat i don't know dude it's like this quarantine shit i'm fat now i always been kind of chubby my whole life i always been kind of chubby my whole life but like i'm fat now like i'm like i'm fat like i'm at, like actually like like dog like i don't know if y'all can see it i don't know if y'all can see it like i feel like 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 like, like, like I'm, I'm like i'm, I'm chunky like, like clothes don't fit the same no more. You know what I mean? Like, like I, like I feel kind of, like, like I feel chunky, you know? And I, like, you, like, like, like I know, like some of y'all in the comments gonna be like, you ain't that bad. But like, first of all, y'all ain't seen me before. Number two, bro, my clothes don't fit the same. Like, I, like, like it's bad. <laughs> like, like I, like I need, like I, I ain't never really been, been like a gym person like that. But like, I need to go to the gym. Like I like I need like I need to start running or something, like it's bad, like it's genuinely bad, like I'm like I'm fat, like, like, bro I'm fat. Um, I got a water bottle, like a big ass water bottle recently. I'm, I'm gonna start drinking more water. I'm gonna start. I got like a 64 ounce thing of water, um, for a few reasons. Um, primarily because I want to start drinking more water. Second reason because I kind of want to save money, because I realize like every time I go to like like out to like a fast casual restaurant like a like a subway or like a panera or like a like a like a like a like a like a even like a fast food place like i always spend money on like a drink like like and that's like four to five bucks wasted every time i go out when it's like i, I just have like a thing of water that i just carry with me every day you know what i mean not to mention i hate going to my friends houses and like asking for water i don't know i i, I i'm uncomfortable asking for for stuff I'm uncomfortable asking uh, to, to be serviced in someone else's house. Like, does that make sense? I don't like doing that. That's that's goofy to me. I don't like that. Um, so I, 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 you know, I don't really ask for water when I when I go to someone else's house because I don't want to. I want to be. A, I don't want to be a pain. Um, so I got a, I got a water bottle. I got a new tooth. I'm happy about the channel. Um, stuff's going well at school. I think I'm gonna pass all my classes. I I'm gonna pass all my classes. Um, I don't know what else to update you guys on. I don't know. Like y'all care about my social life. Um, that's okay. That's pretty well. Um, I don't know. What else you wanna know? You you ask me, dog. I like. I don't know. Um, I've been doing well, and I, and I'm happy. I'm happy with everything right now. Um, and and I and I hope to. Uh, to uh, spend this this next month, sort of sort of bulk, bulking up on stuff, bulking up on muscle, hopefully not fat, um, and bulking up on videos, um, so that that way, you know, come June when I, when I when we make our return and we, we see each other face to face again, we're gonna have a, a whole slew of, of good stuff to watch um, that I'm not gonna have to worry about uploading at all, and then also. Um, I, I think we're gonna bookmark that. We're gonna bookmark the, the summer session with a Kamen Rider J video. 
is when we're gonna do one of these update videos again. And then maybe we'll review another Common Rider movie. I ain't gonna say which one yet, because I don't I don't want y'all to I don't want y'all to think I got I got plans like that, but <laughs> I got plans like that. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna see each other again soon. Um realistically I'm only gonna be missing like two uploads now, given like my new schedule. Yo, uploading every other week is actually really good for me. I feel like that, that's like a good pace. Because it gives it, it's it's more time to like breathe. It's more time to like make stuff that's that's kind of higher production, but like also like still not too fucking over the top. You know, it's a good it's a good pace. It's a good pace is what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, um, I hope to see you soon. Hope to see you in June when we come back. Um, I don't know what video we're gonna be coming back on, uh, but I hope you come back and enjoy yourself. And um, I'm very happy to just, just, just with everything right now, I'm happy. I don't know, I, I just feel very good right now. I'm very, I feel very blessed in like a, not just like a spiritual sense, but in like a universal sense, I guess. I don't know, that sounds corny. But I'm just, I just feel good and I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited, I'm excited, because good things are coming. And then I'm, um, just thank you for watching. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.